I'm gonna come up to about hook yeah we'll come up about an eighth of an inch from the band I'm gonna tie on a little knotted leg rubber leg and we're gonna tie this leg just one single brown rubber leg piece you're gonna take the key here just remember that when you hold it and you make this first loop everything has to go the same from that point on and when we tie the other side I can't let go of it because I need to bring it over here and do the exact same thing use those hook points there there we are figure eight We're gonna use our scissor points there to pull that through. We're gonna trim that up. And the first set of legs we're gonna lay across the top. Right at that point. Figure eight. There we go. Get them held in there good. And then I'm going to take, oh, probably eight to a dozen strands of peacock curl and trim up the butts, clean them up good at the bottom. Then we're going to tie that in just above where we tied in the, the rubber legs with the butt sections first. We're going to tie it in and we're going to work our way towards the back, tying it down. And what that'll do is from this point back, it will kind of help build up the bulk of the body, which we want a little bit bigger towards the back and kind of narrow towards the front. And when you get to the back of the foam, you want to tie it right ni nice and tight against the back of where we tied the foam. Make several wraps to make sure that it'll stay there. And then we'll just bring the thread forward to about oh, the, the two thirds area. And I've already prepared another leg. And we're going to tie that leg in at this point. I would lay it on the top. Figure eight. Get it held in place. Remember not to go too tight with your thread on rubber legs, because it will damage the rubber legs and they'll break. Okay. We're going to take our peacock curl, give it a twist or two, keep it all together. Get that stuff to twist. We'll start wrapping it, moving forward. Just behind the legs, then in front.